Today I'm doing part three on what cement should I use. And I'm going to talk about fast drying cements. Now when I started my YouTube channel back in 2010, I wasn't using any fast drying cements because they really didn't have them out that much. The only time you'd see it is if they're going to put railings in or steal something and they'd, they'd put bolts in and they'd make a little liquid and they'd stick it in there and it hardened quick. But now it's available to the public and it's more available. You could go to the box store, Lowe's, Home Depot, maybe Ace, I don't know, and you could buy this stuff. So I'm going to tell you what I use it for, how I think about using it, and what I do and what I don't do when it comes to uh, using fast dry and cement. Now the first one I'm going to talk about is Rapid Set Cementol. That's the name of it. And actually, there's no sand in it. It's just like if you're going to do railings or something. And you get in here and you add a little water to it. It comes out like a paste. Just like a paste. Well, a little more to it. And it's kind of gooey. Like that. See it? That's the way it is. It's gooey and it moves. So if I'm doing steps or something, I used it on church steps. I started using it on curbs and then sometimes I'd even add a little sand to it to give it a little body because within an hour it goes up to 3,000 pounds PSI which is pretty pretty strong that would be a footer kind of concrete and then after six days it goes up to 7,000 pounds PSI so that's really strong but it's gooey and you'd have to form it it was kind of going all over the place and another thing you can't do or you shouldn't do is make a paint out of it and paint anything like a driveway or anything because you have to have more than a quarter inch uh, to make it really stick. Now the exception to the rule is if I was going to go over something and fill in all the cracks then I'd have to wait and then I'd paint it with a paint or I'd go over with a Portland and then it would stay but all by itself, it's not good for just painting. See how it's getting a little hard already? It's no good for painting. You'd use this for like going over steps where you have to go real thin and then you have to smooth it off really good and then you paint over it and then it's good. Now this stuff, the Air Force came out with Rapid Set and the reason they made this fast drying is because when they wanted to land planes in bombed out areas, they could put the cement in and it dries really quick and they give you landing planes on it and the highway department uses the same stuff so let's go over what I use this for and what I don't use it for I could use this for iron railings and I have because it's gooey and it seeps down in there it, it fills in little holes and I do not use it for a paint like you paint a driveway with Portland no I go over it with Portland I'll fill in some holes with this stuff but I'll have to paint it first. The winter will, will cause havoc on this. But it's a great for everything else like iron railings or bolts or anything like that. That's what I use it for. So I'm going to talk now about the mortar mix. Now I know it says mortar mix but to my experience I don't really think it's a mortar. It's almost like a concrete. The only difference is it has some sand in it. And it acts like a mortar as far as if you're using a trowel. It has body to it and it'll hold stuff up. I did a whole video on this and I showed the videos I used it on. Now the difference between this and this is they reach in here and I don't know if you can see it but it's got sand in it. So when you take that you add water to it it acts as if just like if you were using a trowel. It's got body to it. See it, it'll hold up to a point where the other, the other uh, rapid set wouldn't do that. It has sand to it. So in the old days when we put a window in and I did videos on windows using this stuff we'd have to go put the window in and then we'd put traditional cement all around it which is mortar or Portland and then we'd have to wait and come back the next day and fill in all the little cracks and all the little shrink marks. This stuff doesn't shrink you put the whole window in, an hour later you're done and you can leave. So let's just say I'm blocking up a window. People are getting the landscapers there or something has to get done. They're blocking up a window. I could go in and block it all up and 
an hour later I could leave it's it's like I put it in a week ago so that's I like it that when I do chimneys a lot of real estate people are selling houses and I do a lot of work for real estate companies and what they want to do is they want to sell the house the inspector says well the chimney's cracked and the bricks are missing and I go up there and I use rapid set I do it all maybe it's going to freeze that night I do it all hour and a half two hours it's done I don't have to go back and check it same thing with foundation repair sometimes these real estate people well, you got to patch the hole in the foundation and you got to patch it the inspector will come back and say that's fine when I do concrete patch work in the summer I all the sides of the concrete fell off I formed it I use this stuff I put it in it works good so I use it it's got body in it and you can see it it's getting harder it acts like traditional cement and that's why they call it the mortar mix but I really don't look at it that way and I put this stuff I got a cup like this and I put this in and out of the freezer 120 times I kept adding water to it and seeing how bad it lasted well it took me a few years to really trust it but I really trust it a lot so that's why I'm telling you that and I got to get this bowl back to the girlfriend before she finds out I borrowed it so what don't I use it for I only use it for small jobs if you see me doing bigger jobs anything more than a bag of this I usually use traditional cement the only time I use this is if I have to get it done quickly for some reason windows I could even use it for a little stucco I used it for stucco before it's a great real fast repair mortar if I wanted to add some gravel to it and make it into a concrete I could now they sell a concrete mix but I don't use that I use a different one I use this type I'll explain that as we go but it's just for little small jobs that I have to get done quickly never use it for big jobs I never use it for a paint or anything like that never had any trouble with it never had any callbacks and that's what these videos are about I tell you what my experience is using these products and how it works in my area so now we're going to go to the other high performance mortar now this is another type of cement I use it's called fast set repair mortar and it's the same thing it comes ready mixed it already got the sand in it it's hard to see so you mix it up and this stuff really acts like mortar now if I'm doing a chimney like I have to go up high I gotta do a chimney or something this stuff acts like real mortar real cement just if I was using traditional cement except that it dries faster so you mix it up same thing it has body to it if I wanted to do a little stucco with it I could but if I had to go up and fix a chimney where I'm actually laying the blocks this is pretty good because it takes longer for this to set than it does the rapid set it might take 20 minutes for this the rapid set will be about 10 minutes that's a big difference if I'm doing a, a window or glass blocks I also use this if I want to take my time so what I mostly use this for is it takes longer for this to set then it does the rapid set. The rapid set is about 10 minutes. This takes about 20 minutes. And it's just like traditional cement, except it sets fast. So I could use it for if I'm fixing like a set of brick steps, I'll do that. If I'm doing something like glass blocks, I could use it for that. If I'm doing a little bit of stucco, I could do it for that. So a lot of different things I use it for. If I and they have a retarder for the rapid set but why do that if instead of using a retarder I'll, I'll do this and I could fill it in and acts like the regular border I haven't had any problems with that well this stuff is mostly interchangeable if I use this stuff it's usually up and down and if I use this stuff it's usually laying flat because of the weather but yeah it just you have to play with it for a while to understand it as soon as you go into a store you gotta feel this stuff and make sure if it's it's not hard because if it's hard don't buy it and every time I come home I get some plastic bag and I cover everything and it'll last you get another couple months out of it keeping it in your garage so that's it you gotta use it as you go and then you figure out how it works it's expensive I only use it mostly on small jobs when I want to get in and out the same day now we're going to talk about this fast setting concrete mix same thing 
The thing is with this, it's got the little rocks in it. You see those little rocks? That's what concrete is. If you take this stuff and you add some sand and some rocks to it, that's basically what concrete is. So when you go to patch something, these rocks, they get in the way. So I don't use it for patching anything. I might use it to uh, put another sidewalk in or something like that. Now this, see, this is regular concrete. That's what it is. And the only difference is between uh, the fast drying and the slow drying, the regular, is this dries a lot faster. Any more to use this around fence posts and everything. The old timers never used anything around fence posts. They put the post down and they fill it with rocks all the way around and pack it. But this stuff, if you go to patch something, the rocks get in the way. So I very ever never use it unless it's a big hole I gotta fill in, something like that. Now what do I use this for? If I do, do make sidewalks, like if it's just a small sidewalk, I'll go get 10 bags of this, I'll mix it up and I'll put it in. I can also mix it with the slow drying. I have done that. They don't say to do that, but I've done it and I never had a problem. I also use it for under pavers or uh, if I do like a barbecue grill or something and I'm doing a little area where I'm going to put the pavers on top or a paver sidewalk, I use the same stuff. I'll mix it up, it dries real fast in the summer, put the pavers on top, I'm done. I made wall caps out of it. I use it for forming and making things out of it. It works very good for that. Now if you ever want to know how I patch something, go to my concrete patch videos and I show you. And you'll rarely ever see me using this. You'll always see me using the rapid set or the repair mortar or something like that because it's thin and the rocks don't get in the way. See all these rocks would be in the way. Now I've done a lot of sidewalks over the years and if I did them by hand I would take the traditional Portland cement, I'd mix it with the sand and I'd mix it with the gravel and I'd make my concrete. Nowadays they got into pre-packaging it but when I'm doing a flat sidewalk and I've showed you a copy of what the weather in our area is like last time I did a video on this. If I'm using their kind of stuff to lay a flat sidewalk where the weather's going to directly hit it, I like to take a trough full of traditional Portland and add it to that. And I think that makes it a lot stronger because for our area I think they make this a little too weak. And I think they make this a little bit too weak because sometimes it just sits there in, in uh, the stores and it's starting to get hard already. So I always add a little Portland when I do that. So this is my third video on explaining what cements I use. And this video, of course, was the fast drying cements. Now I'm sure they make other products, other companies that you could use or interchange. And sometimes I do mix one with the other. It all depends on what I'm doing. Everything I do is my own recipe. And I always tell you, what works in Florida doesn't work in Pennsylvania, and what works in Pennsylvania doesn't work in Alaska, and what works in Alaska doesn't work in Southern California. It's all different. And they're trying to standardize it and say you got to use this and that, but I don't find that to be true. I always say go out and do your own research and find out what works for you. After years of doing this, I know what works for me, because I'm the guy that got to go fix it and I don't want any callbacks. So all my videos are food for thought. So that's it for this video. In most of my videos I showed what cement I used for that circumstance at that area at that time. So thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. Until next video.